now what is left is how you can zip multiple files using uh, the zip file module so inside my data i have two files okay which is books.csv and image.jpg i'll zip these two files so it's very simple i'll remove this source and i will remove this destination or maybe i can uh, give the file path also even that will also work okay for example my file one is at books.csv okay so currently this is my working directory so it is inside data and it is inside books.csv okay and don't get confused with this file path okay so somewhere i am using r okay somewhere i am using this convention okay so don't get confused with that i have already made a video uh, i have already explained it in one of my videos so do check my videos and if required i will make a dedicated video for this also so this is the file one that i wanted to zip and i'll i'll pass file two so this is another file maybe image.jpg image.jpg and one more thing since the image came into picture it uh, our zip module is not able to uh, compress images properly like it is able to compress but uh, the file size is not reduced drastically like in csv file almost we got ha less than half of the original file size but if i show you about the zip uh, about the jpg file it is not able to compress it that much so inside zip file i have to pass the file name that i want to give maybe compress dot zip and here i will pass the file names so zip file dot object zip file object dot write i'll pass file one and i'll copy this okay and i'll paste it file two and if i do shift and enter okay i have not executed this avop cell so i'll execute this cell first and yeah although it created our zip uh, file over here since this line got executed so it was able to create this compressor zip file but inside that there is nothing it's an empty zip file okay even the file size is 22 bytes you can check you can check below okay so if so i don't need this i will delete it Okay, let me delete this part now this got executed so our variables are saved in the memory now we can i mean the path variables are saved in the memory so now if i do shift and enter our zip file got created okay if i open this and this you can see this this is the image dot jpg and this is the csv file so i am able to zip both of these files in one particular zip file so now you can see that it is not able to zip images that properly since uh, if i delete this okay and if i show you the image size was actually 2.97 mb but it is now 2.96 mb so it is not able to compress the images properly but i have shown you how you can compress multiple files in a folder now there are uh, like a few people will say okay so if there are maybe 100 files okay how i can zip it so sh can i zip the whole folder so unfortunately you can't zip the whole folder so th that is an issue so let me show you for example i have this data folder and let's consider there are multiple files over there okay let me make some duplicates okay let me make some more duplicates okay so let's say that th this many files are present now i can't write uh, like for example i have 30 items over here so i can't write a 30 uh, 30 times that zip write this write this write this even there can be hundreds of files so that is not possible and if you want to zip this whole folder let's see what happens for example our folder name is data so what if we want to zip the whole folder and if i do shift and enter so our compress.zip got created but you can see there is nothing inside of it like it's there is a folder but inside that folder there is a nothing 
there is nothing okay so if i pass this as a directive structure even this won't work okay this is already giving an issue if i pass it r okay i have to pass this like this now if i do it see still it is not able to zip so you i can't zip folders using this module but what is the alternative if i have a i have this is one of the problem right i have multiple files i want to zip it how can i zip it so it is pretty pretty simple so now i will show you how it is done so simply as i said before i will use the os module and uh, for example i'll pass data this is my folder and if i do shift enter so you can see these are the files that are present right and they um, i'm list directory is giving me a list okay so what i can do i can save this l equal to this and here what i can do i can do for i in l okay now if i if i check l over here so this is the file name with the extension right now what i can do i can pass data so we want to write data slash and i'll give the file name as i okay so hopefully this this will be able to do it and if i do shift and enter see it is able to create this file our file size is of 53.3 mb and if i open this inside data all our files are zipped everything in just few lines of code so if i come to data let me check the size of the data if i go to properties it is 66.8 mb and if i check this one properties this is 53.3 mb so your files just got compressed okay so in the next video i will show you how you can view files inside a zip folder and also i'll show you how you can extract your zip file in a particular location so that's it for this video i hope this video was a little bit helpful and if you liked it please do a like and as always thank you for watching i'm going to see you in an upcoming video